to get to the Olympic Games, the final and the 100 meters, you have to run under 11 seconds. Right now, our best chance of doing it is the woman coming through the line there. Karina Horn is the SA record holder. She's run 11.06. That's 0.6 of a second away from being able to be in the final with the eight fastest women in the world. Karina Horn, welcome to Sport of 10. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for having me. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait to have a conversation with you around that. But before we get to that, just tell us where are you from, where's home, how did you get so fast, what did they feed you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, at the moment I stay and train in Pretoria. Uh, my parents' home is in Kempton Park, so on weekends, if I have time, I'm going there. Uh -huh. And my other home is in Europe. That's the training thing, we're getting there. Where did you grow up? In Natal for a bit, and then we moved, when I was 12 or 13 years old, we moved to Joburg. And the speed, is it a family thing? How do you become SA's fastest woman? Well, I think I've got a bit from my mom, the speed. She did athletics as well when she was little. And yeah, then it's just from training. Now, last year was big for you because yes. you equaled a record in the 100 meters that had been standing for 25 years. You then got as fast as uh, that woman from way back, uh, Yvette de Klerk. Why? How did you get to that 11.06? Did you expect it? Well, I didn't expect it that day. I knew it was in my training. Um, it was four years of different training, uh, different, different coach, uh, life-changing life moments on and off the track, and it's hard work. Mm. Yeah. But you keep talking about the coach, and this is something I need to talk to you a little bit, because you had a coach, yeah. and then over the last couple of years you changed, and yeah. you went to a coach who was European, based in Europe. Why? I mean, what's wrong with local is lacquer? <laughs> yeah, that's true as well, but um, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. So, what was not working? Um, I didn't get enough technical training, so there was no one that could help me for my benefits and my needs, and I needed someone to know what I need to do, not a training group. I need to focus on myself. I mean, I've heard you say that when you are in Europe, it's different. Everything yeah. is different. You're more focused there. Yeah. Life is different for you. What are the distractions that you have here? <laughs> well, friends and family, especially family. Like, it's like, my mom, when are you coming home? This and this, and OK, I have to train. And sometimes not everybody understands. That you need to train? Yes. <laughs> so you really, are you saying that the improvement you've had over the last three or four years has been mainly because of your new coach? Yes, definitely. You're giving it all to him? Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, him and myself, it's uh, work from both of us, both our sides. Um, we both have to be dedicated and as much as I put in the work, he is also putting in the work. Okay, so we see you going through the line there. We always talk about barriers. Now, in women's athletics, 11 seconds is a barrier. Definitely. When you get faster than 11 seconds, you're one of the speedsters in the world. You're at 11.06 right now. That 0.6 is a huge difference though. <laughs> it's the difference between going out in the semi-finals of the Olympics and getting into the final. Can we knock that 0.6 off before we get to Rio in August? Well, that's, that's the plan now. That's what we do in training as well. And I think mainly I can get that from the first 20 meters that I have to, to get that down. And that's what we've been working on. Like in the race I raced in South Africa, my 100 meters, I've missed from the indoors to, the, to this race, I missed uh, 1500 of a second in that 100 meters. Mm. So which can show me where I'm actually at at the moment. So my training is going well and I can see it's coming down. So is the dream just to get to the final? Or if you line up in the final race, do you look across and say, listen, I can win this? Well, I haven't put my mind there yet. Um, I definitely, my mind is at the Olympic final to be there. And in the final, anything can happen. It's anyone's race then. That's true. Yeah. But we want a little bit more of a guarantee. You know, we want to feel, and South Africans want to be saying, you are our Usain Bolt. You are the one that we're looking forward to. Can you give us some reassurances that, you, that you're going to give us something special? Well, definitely. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. I don't want to disappoint. Uh, that's always not part of the plan. Um, I'm definitely, when I'm at the starting line, I'm not going there to lose or to come second or something. So it's always giving my best. And definitely winning is a part of, of the race. So it's do or die. I've also heard you say that this Olympics for you is the do or die Olympics. 2020 is too far. Well, it's, it's not too far, but um, I've 
missed out the 2012 Olympics, changed off coaches and everything. So um, it's been a lifelong dream to be at the Olympics and it was always just a dream to go there. Now it's just not a, a dream to be there, but to be in the final. I'm mm. not just going there for the heats or the semis. I want to be in the final and make uh, uh, more dreams come true. Ah, Karina, yeah. we can't wait for it. 27 years of age, South Africa's fastest. She broke the record last year. She's looking to do it again on her way to the Rio Olympics, uh, which are just months away. All the best. Thank you so much. And thanks for being with us tonight on Sport at 10. Thank you for having me. I'm going to race you down the corridor afterwards. Because <laughs> okay. we've got a long corridor out here. I think I can take you, Karina. <laughs> I used to be a sub uh, 11 second sprinter myself back in the day. So I think I can take her. Shampanizer, what do you got for us uh, on the bench? Yeah, I'm sitting with the original Orlando Pirates. You know, these guys were there before the song Bobo Vulega was formed. These guys are the original Pirates. And I have the original Kuni. Kuni before Kuni. <laughs> of par. This guy, Siraz, he's the original, and I have a female DJ, DJ in there. She's going to spin everything around. But as you can see, I'm, with, I'm next to Gavin Lane. If I was this side, I was going to ask him proper, what happened during the rough men's cup? When you hit, you know, he missed the penalty so, so bad. It's like he saw an engine like this one. I'm going to kill it. Boo. So high. But you know what? Old wounds. Thomas, back to you, Mr. Thomas Malambo.